Today's our final day on the book of Ecclesiastes, and I want to conclude by sharing with you the final two verses in the book, in chapter 12, verses 13 and 14. The end of the matter, all has been heard. Fear God and keep his commandments, for that is the whole duty of everyone. For God will bring every deed into judgment, including every secret thing, whether good or evil. My wife Jill made the observation in listening to the book of Ecclesiastes that to her this was kind of like a mic drop moment to conclude the book. That after all these chapters talking about vanity, all is vanity and a chasing after the wind and it's all wearisome to understand and the mysteries of God that we'll never comprehend, all the why questions that will never get satisfactorily answered. In the end, what can we know? What can we be sure of? Well, it's expressed in these final two verses. Fear God or worship or revere God. Remember again, Back in the book of Proverbs, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And keep his commandments. To this point in the book of Ecclesiastes, we haven't heard much about God's commandments at all. But that again is something that is within our power with the help of the Holy Spirit. We can try to be as faithful as we can to how God has called us to live. And the final verse pointing out that God will bring every deed into judgment, including every secret thing, whether good or evil. That, again, looks ahead to the teaching of Jesus, who talks in the Gospels about how it's not our outward thing, like washing our hands, that makes us clean. It's what's going on inside, and that there is nothing that is hidden from God. And so part of what we want to do in our lives is we want to be a person who is authentic, whose life has integrity between what we say we believe and how we live our lives. So that hopefully, you and I, we are the same person, whether we are at work, whether we're with our family, whether we're out in a store, around in our community, whatever we're doing, we don't put on one face for one individual or one group of people and then act a different way with someone else. We are to be who we are as God's child everywhere we go, knowing and trusting and believing that God sees and knows every secret thing, whether good or evil. As one uh, Christian said many centuries ago, always remember the day of judgment and then you will never sin. Keep in mind that God is watching us every day, not from a sense of, oh no, God's waiting to squash me, but watching knowing that God is with us and wants the best for us and from us.